Today's video is going to test your knowledge of fonts while also giving you free for commercial fonts to use on your projects. Now I'm going to show you two or more fonts and ask you to point out which specific font ID you can see and then you can tell how well you do at the very end of today's video. And sponsoring today's video is a long term partner of this channel, Skillshare. Now Skillshare is an online learning community where you can pick up new skills and implement them in impacting ways. Heading into 2022, Skillshare can really help you master that niche sector of design that you always wanted to. And you can learn more about Skillshare later in today's video. So let's start with this here. Which one of these is Elrond? Both are sans serif typeface, of course, and they do look pretty neat, but which one of these is Elrond? Now, if you guess that the one on the left is Elrond, then you are correct. Elrond is one of my favorite all-time sans serif font families because it's so versatile and it does look so neat. Next to it, we have Cal Sans, and that only comes in one font weight when it's downloaded free for commercial use, but it is still pretty decent. And so next up, we have two more fonts to see here. This time, they are both serif fonts. One of these is from the font family Crimson Pro, but which one is it? Take a close look and see which one you think is Crimson. So yeah, the correct answer here is the font on the left. The other font is in fact Joan. The Crimson font family is available on Google Fonts and it comes in a wide variety of different weights. However, Joan is only presented in one weight when it's free for commercial use. But once again, they're both really neat and they're both tidy typefaces. So we're gonna step things up a bit now and we have three different fonts on screen. One of these is a highly acclaimed and notorious typeface, Babus New. The other two are from different font families, but which one of these do you think is Babus? The font in the middle is in fact Babus. On the left we have Mango Grotesque, and on the right is Galgo Condensed. All three would be really great for poster designs and impacting graphic design works, but which one of these is actually your favourite anyway? Now again, this time around, we have three different choices, but in this instance, we can see three different slab serif fonts. Which one of these is Rockwell? Now I can tell you that the font on the far right is in fact Rockwell. The middle one is Libra Clarendon, and on the left, we have my favorite, Elio. Elio is a great typeface and it comes in six different font styles. And then Libra Caradon is available in a whopping 20 font versions, all free for commercial use. But yeah, Elio is still my top dog in this section, however. So here's another set of sans serif fonts, but do you recognize any of them at all? Now for this round, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I'm gonna say that the one on the left is called Radio Canada and the one on the right is called Sirius. But what is the font in the middle called? When you download the middle one from Google Fonts, you will end up with 36 fonts within the entire family, free for commercial use, of course. So the font family in the middle is called Open Sans. Kudos to you if you got that one correct, but let's move on to the last round in today's video. So one of these fonts is probably the most requested ID of any font I've had on this channel. And that is Basement Grotesque. But which one is it? But yeah, I do get daily questions on my channel asking what is this font? What is the name of this font? And it's amazing that Basement Grotesque is actually free. So okay, which one is it then? Basement Grotesque is the font on the far right. Next to it on the left of Basement Grotesque is Droid. And next to that, we have a font called Frick. And then on the far left is Anek. These are all pretty cool looking typefaces though, I think you might agree. Now you might know that I'm really a big fan of nice, juicy motion graphics. And also you might know that I'm a very busy person with a very tight schedule. But I've actually been using a sponsor of today's video, Skillshare, to improve my motion graphics skills. And to kick off 2022, I decided to take a class on kinetic typography in Adobe After Effects by Phil Ebener. Now you might ask, why did I decide to go with motion graphics? 
Well, that's simply because I do think that the future of design or graphic design in general is heavily going to be animated. So I kind of want to pick up those skills moving into the future. With Skillshare, it's actually possible to take each individual lesson in that class whenever you have free time. Your progress is saved as you move through each individual lesson and also there are some resources in most of the classes to make use of. There are so many different subjects to make use of in Skillshare and we have things like graphic design, animation, UI, UX design, photography, writing and so much more. And if you are thinking of being more productive in 2022, then you might want to take a look at this category here. And also you can see that each category is divided up into subcategories as well. So if you want to join this learning community with thousands of classes that spans across different users from 150 countries, then just click the link in the description box below. The first 1000 people to click that link in the description box below will have a free one month trial to Skillshare. So you can start that creative journey today. But if you want more free fonts to use on your projects, do click a video on screen. And until next time, design your future today. Peace.